place. I love I love your background. That's amazing. <laughs> Drax. Is that a yeah, full size Drax? I think cutout? so. But I also have um oh, these nice. guys here. Oh, your Hulk. That's yeah. awesome. I don't know. The light I think is reflecting on the thing too much. Let me see if I could move it. That's cool. Are those hot toys down there? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Oh, it's still reflecting. That's okay. I, I can I can hear it. You know what? Hold on. I got yeah, this. These hot toys. Uh, yes. That's... There you go. <laughs> no, that is the Hulk. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's fun to do. These these are actually um posters that uh as at work and yeah. they would throw it away. So I'm like, yeah, just give it to me. What? <laughs> oh room. my gosh, yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. absolutely oh, side, want dibs. I have a Oh yes. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. Uh, uh, did they give you stuff. a Dora Milaje one? No, I, I wish oh, I was able to get that one. I think when the pandemic happened, they were just taking down the Infinity War posters and oh, okay. I had my eyes set on one already yeah. <laughs> on Okoye. So yes. Um, Would have been cool. But I should oh. just try to um get one of my artwork and do just a cutout for myself yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool just take matters into your own hands yeah um, um oh, that's so cool you guys know the stuff i do you know we're always oh, yeah. in the background no one knows who we are i know um, that's and that's kind of why i wanted to to get you on here and i i will be honest i I really had no idea how involved it was until I saw you on that D23 panel in 2019. Yeah. Um, I, I was front row with my mom. I was so excited. Um, so and cool. I'm actually, I should, I'll pull that up later, but I was on Andy Park's uh, Instagram story. <laughs> I was <like laughs> yeah. front row. Um, so cool. But yeah, I, I, I was listening to you guys talk about all of it. And um I remember you pulling up all of your all of your Groot stuff and your Nebula <laughs> stuff and Ragnarok and all that kind of stuff. And I I was just like, oh wow, so that's the process. I had yeah. no idea. We were lucky enough that um, you know Kevin Feige wanted a permanent uh, student, like you know, group of artists there, and Charlie and uh, and Ryan Meyer they were the first ones. They're the founders, pretty much. You know, mm -hmm. they somehow convinced uh well not, with their work of course getting yeah. you know getting movies greenlit because visually it works um, wow oh, so it wouldn't have happened without without the visual development team yeah yeah um wow. well that it, it, they, they really trust the way it looks because yeah. you know some older films before when uh some costume designers get a hold of it they don't respect the the comic books, you know? Yeah. And then when you have artists like us who are fans, we go in there and we want it to be like the comic book. And if it's not working with the comic book, we try other versions, but it still feels like the comic book, you know? Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So what do you, I mean, I, I want to talk to you about your work, obviously, but I also just have some nerdy questions for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are your what are your favorite fandoms first of all um and like do you have any favorite comic book characters or comic books Yeah oh when I was I guess I could say when I was 5 or 4 Incredible Hulk was one of the first yes. ones I've seen and uh you know as a child just strength strength everything's yes. like ah, you know strength and um and and Hulk is like a big green baby <laughs> <laughs> And then from there, I think I also saw like X Men, uh, comic book Havoc versus Cyclops. That cover is still in my mind of you know Cyclops, I guess, mm -hmm. doing this and then Havoc's like this. But they're so close to their together, you know. It's 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 an interesting thing. And then Man Thing, uh, who oh, I thought nice. was Swamp Thing, and I yeah. just keep calling Swamp Thing, but that's DC characters. Um, <laughs> but X Men, X Men was was the biggest. Um, Growing up in high school, elementary yeah. to high school, Marvel Universe comic books, um, not the, uh, yeah, yeah, the um, 
um yeah marvel universe where you see all the characters and yeah open the cover you see them all running in one direction yes 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 yeah yes uh that's that still i still remember that that really made me want to draw you know really these characters yeah yeah wow that question really bad but a lot of like uh, (laughs) memories (laughs) Yeah, I would walk pretty far just to get the comic book store, the only one that sells Marvel stuff. And they used to be, they're called fill bars. They used to be a uh, clothing store, but the comics sold more than the clothes. And next thing you know, they're just <laughs> a comic book store. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So did you have, so would you say that your favorite character growing up was Hulk? Or did you have um, different favorite characters? Different favorite characters for different times in my life. Um, there was a time where I really loved, I mean, I still love all the characters, but I was really into Sandman when I was a brooding teen. <laughs> <laughs> That's and I was funny. like, have a crush on death. Oh, you know. Oh, looks- yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. What? Isn't that interesting? Kitty it Pride, is interesting. too. Kitty Pride. I was like, oh, she's so cute. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Um, do, do, you, do you know, I don't know if you can answer this, but do you know yeah. why they didn't include death in the Infinity Saga? Because she's a big part of the comic books. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, can I include that? I could say um, in, in, in explaining, uh, like when you do something for a film cinematically, yeah. It's it's easier to uh, to tell the story when there's not too many characters involved, yeah. but making the personification of, of death into something um, something not it's not positive, but you want your villain to have a goal that's meaningful, so he feels like mm-hmm. he's the hero. So, you know, in a way, yeah. Thanos had he was the hero of Infinity War. You know, yeah. he got what he set out to do and it was all because of love for everyone really but in a crazy yeah. way um i think that's why i love the x-men because when they make their characters i mean thanos is not part of the x-men but marvel right as a whole when they when they make their uh, villains they try to make them you know be meaningful yeah and they they, they believe they're the good guy yes which yes makes them more dangerous almost <laughs> yeah the magneto uh syndrome in my yes. head that is the best bad guy. It really does. <laughs> it makes a, oh man, it makes a great villain. Yeah. Um, I did, uh, before we get too far into Marvel, I yeah. wanted to congratulate you on your new position. Um, you're, you're still at Dolphin, right? Yes, yes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, congrats. Are you creative director? I'm creative director, but nice. I'm also, <laughs> yeah. Well done. It's, it's been, you know, I, I mean, I would have, been at marvel forever actually yeah yeah. because they'll never let any of us go um Mm -hmm. i did get to talk to kevin feige and let him know you know he's such an awesome guy and he he knows i've been there almost nine years yeah it's really kind of emotional to hear him say some you know his his, um uh gratefulness uh, for him being there and he he has nothing but you know praises and, and good luck to my own ip because the only reason i left because i was creating my own yeah. uh world you know um it's pretty much like a star wars uh, yes that's world. so cool yeah it's gonna be cool i can't wait we're we're launching the well it it was an it's an nft um yeah I was... but it's, it's not an nft i, I pitched it as a show it, it's a okay. series but we also you know dolphin wide because uh, they have they they built their own platform for NFTs, so they thought this could be something really cool as an NFT too. I go, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. Just let me just keep on writing. Some it's just so different. Yeah. I'm not drawing as much. I'm writing more. You know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Is that what is that what this is from? Yes, that's not from <laughs> Creature Chronicles. The thing okay. I did. that that's more like that's their. Um, that's their uh, product. That's what okay. I did. Okay. Let's, yeah. So I did. I I do because I am a child of the '90s. I grew up watching Tanya Harding and um, yes. Nancy Kerrigan, uh, Michelle Kwan, Tara Lipinski. But I, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you ab- about this. 
um, what is the, it's an NFT. I know it's for an yes. NFT project. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Hero Let's. And it's a product of, of a dolphin marketplace. So you guys could visit that. Um, but the whole idea is it's a collector, um, um, uh, like, like a, like a baseball card set. Yeah. Uh, and you have different levels, like, you know, more rare and more common ones. Um, and that particular image, uh, is, um, is, uh, illustrated by, um, man, how can I, just, Justina, Justina son uh she's amazing she worked at marvel with me oh nice so i also had another artist uh john dimayuga uh from the philippines and i put together like a little visual development team and then i just oversee i mean i have some artwork i also did for it but it, it was nice to have um I, I i believe in in having different artists have different ideas and then we yeah. can make the, improve the you know the design uh, even more the process but, yeah yeah so but that's what that that is um, and it was it was made cool. for the olympic uh winter olympics yeah yeah oh that's awesome that's really cool so your your project so you're developing like your own world so yes. what all does that what's involved there so um right now i've summarized like two seasons of it already and we're doing oh, cool. the pilot uh, which is see, people seem to be liking it, and uh, what it is is um, so it's a it's a space opera, and it's like it's like oh Star that's War. awesome <laughs> <laughs> that's cool yeah and we have these aliens um, which I can't say the name yet because there's a contest that we you know okay. is going on to people to guess the name of these uh, characters and you get a prize. Um, but they are they're they're escaping from their galaxy because they're being chased by these other forces we can't reveal yet and then they had to find um a particular type of human that matches what they need to save their race oh, and they'll cool. find out more about why this particular zara my main character she's um I almost just want to spoil it. Like, ah, oh, this, you know, <laughs> this is how this is why it's working. Different multi realities, multiverse is not not like Doctor yeah. Strange, but it's more like they're interdimensional uh, beings that travel through space oh, and cool. time, you know. And then they, but they're more they share more of their what what they their knowledge and stuff. But then within their uh, civilization, there's the royals that want it a certain way and didn't want to share the the knowledge so there's that that clash within uh so it's, it's, it's dramatic a little bit you know um freedom and you know that yeah. kind of real life stuff uh that's awesome so, so yeah when, I, can't wait. I should share out? i have i'm working on it right now i should share yes some stuff with you. yes do it no, um no. you can you can email them to me and then i'll just uh overlay them on the video before before we publish it yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, cool. Launching in Comic Con, so that's the official. That's so soon. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been working it since last year. Um, oh, nice. Okay. You know, so uh, but the story took about a couple of months. You know, to okay. put together. Uh, it's something I had in my mind even before I got to Marvel, like space dragons, you know, and yeah. space samurais. But it is all in influenced by Star Wars, right? That's that's, that's awesome like. yes Darcy space summarize yeah yeah that's so cool oh my gosh well congrats so that's july then it launches yes july is is the set date for it um, okay oh that's really cool very cool what can we what can we expect is it going to be like an ongoing sort of like the marvel cinematic universe has been going now for 12 years <laughs> 14 years is it going to be like that do you expect it's um yeah if we do things right I mean within the universe I mean we're just focused on certain uh, type of aliens but within that there's there's a lot more you know um, I've got these techno monks that you know are like <laughs> that's cool <laughs> they come together to fight against the Ostrogs and then oops uh, and <laughs> it's like oops no that's not the name yet uh, that's another set of aliens. But and then we'll have um, um, uh, um, what is it? bounty hunter sto uh, stories about this one type of bounty hunter, 
and um and and this blind um warrior uh girl uh that that's all part of this universe so it's like i'm creating like a mcu i guess but not yeah. really you know so um, I'm really excited. It, it hopefully it does well, and and we'll be able to tell more of these stories within this universe. And um, yeah, yes, it's, that's it's awesome. So much fun. But what? I also feel nervous. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, it's your baby. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Is yeah. Well, now what platform is that going to be on? Is it going to be TV or? Um, it. It's going to probably be in streaming. Okay somewhere uh but again it's still in development so anything yeah. can happen yeah if it doesn't have a good um uh how's this it's still internal okay uh, to see you know if they'll but for sure the pilot will, will, will be making that and hopefully okay. end of the year or next year maybe uh have that available i'm still deciding if, if it should be like a webtoon or a really okay. animatic you know yeah um, webtoons are they're they're uh they're getting traction yeah i heard uh some webtoons got made into netflix yes yeah <laughs> yeah that's really cool and they just picked up um i don't know if you're familiar with laura olympus laura or rachel olympus. smythe oh. it's a webtoon that just got picked up into actual comic books now oh i gotta see laura yeah. olympus what? an actual comic book like uh yeah like who picked them up um, I can't remember who it was. Let me see. More Olympus. Oh, cool. oh. Is there a cartoon? Yeah, it's so it's L O R E. Yeah. I found yeah. It. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Volume one. That's cool. I'll check that out. I've I've still wanted to do a webtoons uh, for a while now since twenty two thousand six uh, with my like Filipino folklore series. This is another IP that I'm developing, and uh, I oh, want. Oh, nice! Yeah, I can't wait to show that too. Um, so since I left, I am developing multiple shows, and I have money now to do a short film. So, oh, I'm cool! Do that soon. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's it's so much fun. That's that's really neat. So they they just kind of um, give you creative freedom then to kind of feed. Oh, your... um, with the Filipino folklore stuff, that's actually through my production company, Uber Monster. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. So Wait, what's, that. what's your production company called? Uh, Uber Monster Productions Incorporated. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. It's true. When I was younger, I used to, uh, when I first started my career, I called myself Uber Monster because I just designed uh, creatures and monsters for horror films. And that was it. <laughs> that's all I wanted to do. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, well, congratulations on that. So you're doing both of those, Dolphin and uh, Uber Monster at the same time? Um, uh, I'm, you got I'm like two more... full-time hustles? Yeah, yeah. I focus more on 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 the dolphin stuff first because okay. that's um, um, I'm creative director there. Yeah, but they're they are supporting. Um, that's the, oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, the other one. So uh, they're the ones actually that gave me funding to do my short film. So. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that's so supportive. That's yeah, really oh, neat. they're they're really cool. Um, CEO is amazing. Uh, all the CEOs for all the companies underneath the dolphin um they own like uh 42 west uh the door um surefire entertainment um and a bunch of other uh pr uh companies mm -hmm. um they actually uh uh partnered up with uh flower girls i think nft oh cool okay they're very successful yeah NFT. that's awesome wow yeah. Um, well, I did, I did want to ask you real quick. I know we're, uh, keeping an eye on the time here, but, um, <laughs> I found, so I, I creeped through your Instagram again, um, before, before coming here. And by the time this airs, um, Multiverse of Madness will have been out for a, a, like three weeks. So we can, have you seen it yet? 
I haven't seen it yet. I know the story. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, you do. But I okay. don't know how it gets to the story. Okay. So you've seen it. I, I saw it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. How do you like it? Um, it was it was different. Um, it was different, which I appreciate because I also yeah. loved I loved the Eternals. I thought yeah. Chloe Zhao brought something different to the MCU. Um, it like as close to an art house film as we've gotten yeah. within the MCU. I feel like that is eternal space and I loved it. Um, this, this was, it was hard for me because I love Wanda. I, I, yeah. I, I've loved Wanda since uh, age of Ultron. So um, yeah. her villain turn was difficult for me. I, I don't, I, I don't know, but um, so you know, so you Will know this the be plot. Spoiler then. for your followers, then. <laughs> or well, you, it's you gotta cut this part out. <laughs> well, this will have been. Um, th we're gonna put this up at the end of May, and so oh, it'll, okay. it'll have been out for a yeah, while. Well. Okay, that's good. So, but I will. I'll put okay. like a little spoiler thing and yeah, warn, yeah. warn people. Because um, yeah, I we can't even show art. I mean, I didn't work on. Uh, madness uh you know multiverse okay. of madness i i almost um i can't even say this so but i'll tell you you could just cut this out if okay. you want uh because i'm not you know I, i'm supposed to lead that show oh really yeah yeah but i ended up uh they end up choosing um uh there's some politics stuff maybe i can't talk yeah. about but i i love that i was uh, being, they were talking to me about about it, the producers, it's like, well, oh, that's so cool because of the images. Um, oh, yeah, because you're the horror guy. Yeah, I'm the horror you're, guy. Oh, man. <laughs> Duh, that would have been perfect. And I did some images for Spider Man uh, uh, Far From Home, yeah. uh, the Battle of uh, Mysterio. Yes. And, uh, it's on my, it's on my, on my Instagram. Okay. So I'll have to pull that. it. I want, yeah. I did want to highlight this real quick. That is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. White vision. So did you did you do his uh design, his costume design then? The final design wasn't mine. I was in the oh. beginning of the production. Um yours is awesome though. Um, <laughs> I and I, I did end up helping with um the keyframe for not helping, I did the keyframe for the final battle. Oh with, yes. You know, vision versus vision. <gasps> Oh, are you allowed to send me that so I can put it on here? Yeah, I could send you. I mean, it's out there now. Oh, it uh, is? Okay, okay. It was even on uh, Reddit, which is kind of funny. It had like 20, I don't know, it probably has more views now, 21,000 views or something. Oh, nice. Okay. And I'll and someone had mistaken it for Andy Parks. Ah! <laughs> Andy Park. And then someone else, you know, kind of replied and go, that's not Andy Park. That's Anthony. He just, did you see he has his name twice on the image? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Andy funny. teases, oh, that's why it has 21,000 views. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Thank you for the boost. Um, yeah. I wish I was more active in my uh, social. I'm trying to be more active now and sharing more stuff because, um, you know, it's just it's hard sometimes when you're uh, really busy. Um, yeah. Well, and sure. self-promotion self is always, I mean, I've never felt great about it. I know sometimes people are just a little bit shy and it feels weird sometimes, you know. Yeah, because um, I have to say, I did this, yeah. I did this. And I have to say that because if I don't, then someone else says it and yeah. they'll believe them. And sometimes they don't even... <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop. <laughs> That's Okay. <laughs> Um, you know, they think they designed it and then, yes. you know, we designed it before they were even hired, Yeah, you know, so that's the hard, that's the really hard part sometimes. Um, so, but again, it's, it's, it's a whole a team effort. Everyone like works together mm -hmm. to make something great, but knowing, making sure people know that in the pipeline, the visual yeah. development team, you know, our team is in the beginning, you know, before yeah. people even get hired. Um, that that's one thing I've noticed and you're good at doing this too, but, uh, Andy is also good about giving credit, giving credit where credit is due. Yes, um, yes. and I, I appreciate that about you guys. Um, I'm also, I'm a graphic designer. And so I, I understand, I mean, I don't understand 
visual development processes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I mean, just, it always feels nice when you do something and somebody gives you credit for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, it is. Um, which mm. speaking of, I did, I don't want to let you go without talking about this little guy. <laughs> we could go a little bit longer. It's fine. okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just down. like right, 20 minutes more is good. So tell me about how did baby Groot happen? Um, was this something you were given like, or did you come up with some, some keyframes and you were like, Hey, let's do this. How did, how did baby Groot happen? So, uh, how it happened, uh, during, um, Guardians of the Galaxy one, uh, and the idea came from James Gunn. I, I don't okay. know exactly what the conversation was, but in his script, when, uh, um, when the, the adult group dies mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the end tag of, you know, a, a little branch of him growing yes. in, in the pot. And so I didn't even know he was going to dance. So that's where it started. And I think that was towards the end already of the production. No one else was available to work on it. And I'm the creature guy, but not the cute creature guy, I don't do cute <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, but I was tasked to do this, and I, you know, I had fun with it. Uh, Charlie Wen was still uh, heading visual develop uh, the project at that time, mm -hmm. um, and he, uh, you know, he just just gave it to me here. I think you're you'll be the best guy for this, you know, and because they know I'm a positive guy at work, and yeah. You know, this, this is going to be fun for you. You like anime and you like, you know, because I, I put a mismatch of all the th stuff I like that are cute, oh, including nice. the feeling of having it, you know, my kids be around me. And first, yeah, so uh, my kids were still pretty young at that time. I think that's 2013 or 2012, I think. Oh, wow. 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. 2012, 2013, because 20, end of 2012 was when I, November was when I started at Marvel okay yeah and then i just left last year in october <laughs> this is so wow. crazy it's like a blink of an eye it's like ah it's yeah it's so much fun and next thing you know all my life was there <laughs> yes uh, so but uh but yeah so so he, we needed it right away um i i did a bunch of designs um in in the first day just thinking, is it a spore? Is it going to be this? Is it going to go in the air? And then that, how does it even become what it is? Um, and and uh, and then James was like, no, I just needed um, a face on a stick. Just make it, <laughs> you know, oh, okay, okay. That's even easier. Um, so I did a bunch of versions of heads on a stick, but, you know, different body forms and stuff. Um, so, yeah, and then he he liked it right away and um, that's how that started and i became the the guy that worked on him throughout till he was um teen Groot and you know infinity you War off? Groot. yeah oh wow okay so, yeah. wait so who did who does him now i i don't know Maybe <laughs> I can ask. you have to watch uh you know yeah, Galaxy incredible. Volume Three, and then you'll yes. learn more about him. Um, yeah, that's soon too. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Coming. I got. I still have three movies that are not out yet. Uh, even yeah. yeah. I saw that you wait. Okay, so I saw that you still did work on, or they're still using your work that you did for Eternals. Is that right? I have some Eternal, uh, I was able to work in the beginning of Eternals, but I didn't get to work on the costumes, mostly the creatures. And it was the very beginning. Um, oh, the Deviants? And, yeah, the Deviants. Oh, nice. Um, but the final design, I, I think it was Rodney Fuentebelli I got the final design. Okay. Um, but again, that's a culmination of a bunch of other artists like trying to get it. Ian Joyner did some stuff. And Ian Joyner actually was the guy that... Um, supervise uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, okay. Too. So he has some amazing work. I uh, can't wait for him to share it with all you guys. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now is this, is this, this was from the first Doctor the Strange, first Doctor right? Strange. Yes. Okay. First. And this was the ancient one. This was a design you did for the ancient one. Is that right? Yes. Yes. You're right. 
That's I'm gonna be awesome. posting designs for Dormammu soon. I put it on my Twitter. I put oh, Dormammu yes. on my Twitter. So that that was fun. Uh, yeah, and oh, and uh, just to finish off the question with uh, Baby Groot, the the one with the legs, that's for Volume Two. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that that one uh, came a little bit this easier because since I got the. Because James trusts me with the uh, aesthetic already of mm -hmm. the characters, and he wasn't um, he he wasn't worried. I think he just said, "Oh, yeah. I wanted to be this way. He's gonna be dancing. This is gonna be the best opening sequence in any movie." <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing. I, it's it juxtaposed with him him dancing with all that stuff going on in the background is yeah. hilarious. Did you did you work on that creature too? Yes, yes, I designed the nice. um, was it the obelisk? Yes, yeah. yeah. That oh, one he had cool. specific. Uh, uh, he wanted the skin to be like a mole rat skin. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. That's that's the specific note. Nothing else, just you know. And I came in. Uh, Jared Moran's also was working on that, and I think it was just Jared. Um, but and. And another artist, I think, but I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> I went through. Um, but yeah, I love the way they made it look so much better. All the teeth, they totally yeah. got the design of the, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, layered teeth. Uh, yes, had. yeah. Yeah. The, oh. so cool. They gave him a nickname. Uh, I'm trying to remember it because James lo loved it so much. And he said, oh, that's a... Uh, chin tooth or uh, i forgot what it was but <laughs> you know it looks I, I like a sarlacc mouth yeah oh yes Star and that's, Wars. you're right and that is is definitely an inspiration i have to say that one <laughs> and the um something the suckers under uh, yeah underwater the leeches i forgot that's my main reference for that oh wow, wow. yeah you i can mean tell. I, I always use that in all my designs even back then when i used to work for nc soft <laughs> it's like oh really all the way, yeah. I always use certain designs I have that I always start off with, and then I just branch out from Build there. Build off that. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense. It probably saves you a lot of time too, right? Yeah, because it's a it's a uh, visual uh, language that I've I've already um, uh, worked on and developed yeah. on, and make it almost my own. And it's like uh, your stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Okay. Um. I did, did, have you, you said you have movies coming out that you've, you, that are still coming out that you've worked on. Is Love and Thunder one of them? Yes. Ah, <laughs> yay. What can, what can we watch for? Oh man, I, that movie's amazing. It's going to be, I mean, I don't know how it's going to look like, but working on it was, had so much cool stuff. Uh, which of course I can't talk about, but I can say. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah, the trailer yeah. looks really cool, and uh, and he's back on. You know, he's back to be fit. <laughs> it's like back it's on so his funny. fitness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my son, I think, was so happy that I don't know. He he just feels like that's Thor. He needs to be like fit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, there's some original uh, pieces I did. For for that, I can't wait, you know, for you guys okay. to see. It's uh, the best part, I think, for me is when uh, a design is seen by uh, Taika and when, because Andy, Andy led led that show, and Andy is awesome because he would let tell me how the feel of the room is, the mood, and how they laugh or the, you know whatever they. Yeah. And when you when 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 my designs get a laugh out of uh you know, um not a laugh laugh but just like oh mm -hmm. he just remembers yeah. it and it's it's it it really makes it feel cool yeah i bet that's really fulfilling as a designer yeah 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 definitely. taika is is an awesome guy too he's very funny and serious at the same time <laughs> yeah he is he's he's intense so you've gotten you've gotten to work closely with him um no not really we're all Usually in you know VizDev, um, VizDev dungeon, no VizDev offices, and <laughs> we do dungeon. our <laughs> our stuff, and we we uh, we're so addicted to what we do. Yeah, we don't really go out so much. It just takes so much of our time. Um, sometimes I just have to stop myself 
uh, from yeah. trying to take a break. It, it really is hard sometimes when you're having fun. Yeah, that's great. Oh my gosh, to be doing something that you love so much and you just don't want to stop doing it. Oh, that's, yeah. I wish that for every human being <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, I thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you being here. This was so much fun just to get some uh, behind the scenes tidbits with Anthony Francisco. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. Is there anything that you want to plug before we let you go? Any oh. like social media or projects well, or the, additional projects, I guess. I guess uh, uh, if anybody wants to learn how to do creature design, I have a class. Oh, cool. Uh, in Nas Academy. Uh, and it's the link is on my uh, on my uh, Instagram. Uh, um, what do you call that? Linktree? Yeah. So okay. You could find it there. I have a YouTube channel uh, where I explain how I designed Loki for Thor Ragnarok. Um, oh yes! Wait. Yeah. yeah, all the yes, there it is. <laughs> the reason why that's asymmetrical because you know I, I was thinking he his dad died, his mom died, and Aww. he's so unbalanced, and you don't know if he's gonna be good, he's gonna be bad. So a lot of reflecting his personality. And of course, when he's blue, he's sad, and then he finally gets his colors again. Um, you know, and that oh, helmet is my favorite helmet ever. Yes. When I was like younger, because I love uh, Asgardian Wars is one of my all-time best X-Men comic book, and Loki was uh, the villain there. Yeah. And he had that helmet on. You know, and oh, it's what happens. Cool. Taika loves it too. So I'm like, oh, it's yeah. perfect. You know, I was pitching right. it the different types of helmets, and you know, uh, that was that was awesome. Yeah, that he was liked gorgeous. what I had. I also yeah. got lucky with that because Charlie when did you know did the original Loki, and when Taika wanted a brand new Loki, I was like, yes, I don't have to fill. Uh, these shoes that are so you know <laughs> amazing charlie wins design is just great and I, I was able to put my own voice to it so it's really um, um yeah that was stellar this this one too this is, is this what you call a keyframe yes yes yeah, yeah we didn't have designs for the um, uh one of these demons yet but that one w was to help with uh visual effects and um, like camera angles and stuff. How how would we show his powers coming back? Oh um, yeah, yeah. I think I was even told not to show his eye pat because you know his, his oh, eye got Oh yeah. So in the beginning, it was painted that way, and then no, no, just put it, you know, regular eyes so that yeah, uh, we won't spoil anything for people. Uh, oh, that's that's clever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So Some spoilers. Well, did you know? Here, here's one thing I could tell you. Did you know that I just I remember the um, in Infinity War where the moon gets dropped on. Yeah. That was, so that I pitched that idea. That was you. Yeah, that was <gasps> my idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing! When when he pulls down the moon. Yeah, when Tony? he pulls down the moon on, oh my on gosh. Iron Man or uh, the Doctor Strange. So Ryan Minerding led uh, Infinity War and Endgame and. He told me that for for this section in, in the script, they wanted an epic battle between Thanos and Doctor Strange that you've never seen before. It's like, Ooh. whoa. Exactly, right? It's like, oh, man. That's, wow. That's a tall order. Yeah. It, 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 I guess it was, but I was so excited. I was like, whoa, I could really just anything is anything. Yeah. You know, Ryan, uh, actually, he, he he got a kick out of it. He, he loves giving me work where there's, no, no <laughs> real direction and it's like see me smile and I'm like oh shoot this is gonna mm -hmm. be amazing and and then while i was doing it i was like this is so hard <laughs> this is so, you know but but i just think really outside of the box so much um but that but and but they did tell me he was gonna have certain you know some of the gemstones yeah. he doesn't have all of it but i think it was mentioned which ones and i don't remember which ones but i just I just said, what if he drops a moon on top of Doctor Strange? You know, this was thinking, 
they won't be because in, in the beginning when I was doing the the keyframe, they were like punching and stuff, and they won't be mm-hmm. punching each other. They're so yeah. powerful. They should be fighting through dimensions, fighting mm-hmm. through the space, through the cosmos. And if they're in, this is how I this is how I process, right? I'm just yeah. sitting down staring at the sky or something or the ceiling. <laughs> And then just in my mind, like, yeah, if they're fighting in space, he'd probably take the whole like black hole, open it up, put it beside uh, the sun and then pull out the, you know, the the flames out of the sun into the black hole. And oh, then make wow. it go through, you know, Doctor Strange. That um, would have been amazing visually. That would have been yeah. incredible. And e- even amazing. that part where there's multiple uh, Doctor Stranges, um, what I had yeah. first envisioned was, Doctor Strange, uh, um, he he was gonna try to get him in the what do you call that uh, that space where he could control everything. I forgot reality something. No, the are, the thing that's in what if the that one, the, thing that's in doc- the first Doctor Strange when um, the ancient one says here when you bring people in this area. Oh my god, I can't remember. I should, I should know these things. I know. Uh, I should do. <laughs> yeah, he and then uh, and then Thanos would break reality. So oh, the, mirror dimension. What's it called? Mirror dimension. Mirror dimension. Yes, I okay, think that's okay. what it is. And then uh, Thanos breaks it, and there's a bunch of Doctor Strangers yes. around. Yeah. And then he grabs one from out of nowhere, and then he pulls him in. And they did a different take on it, but it's the same idea on the movies. And that's another one, like, oh man, the, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, it was just very fulfilling working at Marvel you know yeah and you did um remind me what it was you did something with Groot and Rocket right where they're in that little ball yeah yeah uh they didn't end up using it but they loved the idea are they going uh, to eventually use it do you know can you say I don't know maybe it's so it was such a good idea can you explain it real quick for all the all the viewers yeah so um for Endgame uh producers and directors wanted to, the visual development team to each take a stab on doing a gag for the end you know combining certain characters and um, there's some characters I think they want combined already uh, but they wanted to see how they're combined so I did uh, Groot and Rocket where you know Rocket uh, Groot um, and goes rocket again. I mean, uh, covers rocket with his branches again to kind of evoke that feeling of oh, he yeah. might die again, right? Aww. And so not nah, not this time. And then he gets the, and he starts running within Groot's uh, um, uh, what do you call it? The ball of of branches, and then yeah. he starts rolling, and it's like it's a hamster wheel, yeah, a hamster ball, you know. And then I was thinking, <laughs> oh, he'd be running over other. Uh, one of the bad guys, I guess, but I forgot their names. The, the Outriders, or the whatever. Outriders, yeah, yeah, that would have been funny. That would have been fun, yeah. That'd and then cute. he would have the gauntlet, you know. Uh. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, that would have been uh spectacular. Yeah. They really they laughed. Uh, I was told that they, they enjoyed that. Um, oh, good. Well, that's that, good. That has to feel good. I also had a giant man riding one of the Leviathans. That was another one, like, you know, a rodeo show. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. (laughs) That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm sure there were, like, so many ideas that they just had to sift through for that. And it's already, like, half, almost, what, 45 minutes of that last battle? Oh, was it? Wow. Yeah, it's it's epic. Um, I mean worth every minute but it's it was a lot um but yeah so thank you so much for your time i really appreciate you hopefully we can have you back someday um maybe after after your project launches at uh comic con yeah yeah definitely talk about that that a little bit yeah we'll talk about that a little more um maybe i could show you some images (laughs) yes please oh my gosh yeah i would love that yeah all right. Oh, uh, it's it's actually you could also find. Sorry, I was gonna say you That's could okay. find. Uh, you could find Creature Chronicles Exiled Aliens, um, Creature Chronicles to you know to sign up okay. if you guys wanna uh, buy an NFT or just support the project. Yes, 
Yeah. What, what is it called? Creature Chronicles. Io. Creature Chronicles. Io. Okay. I'm gonna go there right now. We're in the Solano yeah. blockchain. Save that. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah. I will go there right after I get off the yeah. get off the video with you. Join the Discord, Sarah. It would be cool to have you guys there. Oh yeah, yeah. you have a Discord. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, the Creature Chronicle Discord. I also have my oh, own yeah. art Discord. Um, okay. I, I haven't been active on there as much, more on, on uh, the Creature Chronicles because I'm trying to make Promote sure I that. get that yeah. going. Yeah. So uh, sometimes okay. I would do just live art tutorials um, on there. Um, designing. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Discord, so I'll, ha I'll have to find you. Yeah, please. Uh, I'm Uber yeah. Monster on my Discord. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, I will look you up. All right. Well, thank cool. you. I thank appreciate you, again, Sarah. you. I'll uh, thank I'll you so I'll see you after after Comic Con, hopefully. Yes. Yes. Or or before. <laughs> or before. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Sarah. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.